afternoon, everyone, and welcome to DIY Crafts. So today we have a very special show for you. Uh, we are not completing our birdhouse like we started last week. We're going to finish that next week. But this week I have a very special announcement. Um, so in honor of Julius Caesar's um, uh, show that is being presented by the Hanover Theater Repertory, um, opening night is this Saturday. It is free and open to the public. It is taking place on the Worcester Oval. Um, and so they want you to arrive in style. So in order to arrive in style, the Worcester Public Library has decided, with the help of our awesome donors, to give away a bunch of really cool DIY craft bags. So there are craft bags for adults, for children and for teens. All you have to do is walk in and grab one and everything you need is in those bags. So I'm gonna be demonstrating the adult laurels, which is this pretty gold leaf band that you can wear in the front or you can flip the headband around so it's just on the back like a typical laurel. Either way you wanna wear it, totally fashionable. Arrive to the show in style, it's up to you. So in your grab bag, you're gonna get these really cool instructions that show you the two different ways to wear it. You can wear it in the front like I am, or you can wear it in the back. And then this is your complete instructions, but of course, why bother with the paper instructions when you're here listening to me talk? All right, so in the bag, you'll find your instructions, toss that aside. Also in the bag, you'll find a plain Jane, very boring, very dull, not very exciting, black headband and then you are going to find 15 gold leaf. So you should find a at least three separate leaves, gold leaves, and then you'll find a bundle that looks very much like this. Um, so the easiest way I found to get the bundle apart aside from using scissors or any sharp object is just to pull one leaf off and then the tape right here kind of peels and you can just peel that right off. So each one of these 15 leaves comes with their own wire. And what you wanna do is you wanna start with one single leaf angled downwards on that very bottom end of your headband. And you wanna use it, I'm gonna show you guys a little closer. Um, you wanna use it to just cover up the bottom of that headband so you can't see it when you put it in your hair or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to place it here, use my thumb to secure it, and then I'm just going to take the wire and wrap it around the headband like this, nice and tight. Just like that. And then what you can do is you can adjust it how you see fit. I like to kind of take it and pull it and kind of stretch it over a little bit, just like this. And that is your first leaf. And then from there, you're just gonna keep adding leaves on top of the wire so you don't see this ugly wire right here. So I'm just gonna add another leaf, kind of in the opposite direction a little bit, just layering it. And I'm just gonna, once again, just wrap the wire around. Make sure that the wire isn't gonna poke me in the head. And that's my second leaf. And you're just gonna keep layering it all the way around. And then once you have it all the way around, you can kind of go back and play with the leaves directional wise. Um, you might wanna make one go this way, one go this way. Um, it's totally up to you. But first off, let's put the leaves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this leaf where I think it should go, like this. And I'm just squishing it and holding it between the headband and the leaf. And then I'm just wrapping that wire around um like this so super easy here this is probably one of the very easiest class i've ever done just like this and you're just going to keep making your way around the headband but notice that the bottom you can't see the end of the headband and that's kind of the look you're going for Alrighty. so just hold the leaf there and all you're doing is wrapping it around the headband like that. Same thing. And you're just going to do this all the way until you get to the other side. 
And when you get to the other side, you do want to make sure that you um, place that last leaf facing downwards once again. So I'm just going to wrap this around right here. It doesn't matter if I wrap the, um, the metal wire up high or down low, as long as it covers the wire of the next leaf, that's all that really matters. And if you are spacing them too close together, don't worry, because what happens is you can slide the leaf on the wire, um, on the headband with the wire to whatever position you need it to be on this headband. So once again, just going to take a leaf like this and like this, and I'm just going to wrap it around the headband. I like to try and end with the wire end at the top here because then I know it's not going to get caught on my hair or um, stab me or anything. So, just kind of things to think about. Then you just keep peeling off your wires and your leaves and again, place it where you think it should go, overlapping that last leaf a little bit, a lot, depends on how you want them spaced out. And you're just going to wrap it around and try and end with it up here on the top of the headband. And so you can already see it's kind of starting to do its little zigzag. I like that. I think that looks really cool. But it's up to you how you want them to look. So I'm just going to pull these all apart. Some of them like to get a little stuck together. Just like this. So your bag does come with 15 leaves. You don't have to use them all. You can use less. You can use all of them. It's totally up to you. Um, and there we go. So I'm going to place that over the next one and go ahead and just wrap that around pretty tightly. Just like that. And again, you can slide it up or down depending on where you need it, but it's starting to look pretty cool already. And you're just going to keep overlapping the leaves. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, makes it look a little authentic that way. Just gonna wrap it around. Nice and tight, just like that. Pretty cool. And what I like to do, is I like to put this leaf, my, um, just one leaf on the opposite end. So when I get there, I know how much Base I have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the opposite end of the headband and just go ahead and tie this one around to see how much space I have to work with here. And then I'm going to go back to where I just was, overlap this one, maybe in the opposite direction. See how this leaf's going this way. I'm going to do this leaf this way and wrap that one around nice and tight. And the same thing, I'll just keep going. I'm almost at the end here. And then once you reach the end and you have all your leaves on, you're going to notice that I have a lot of black space here. I have a lot of headband left, and that's just going to enable me to space the leaves out how I see fit. I'm going to put one more facing downwards over here. Right like this, and I'm just going to wrap it around. All right, and this is the fun part. So now you can go ahead and kind of space the leaves. The leaves have wire in them, so it allows you to space them and kind of mold them onto the headband. Leave a little bit of space here. And then I'm just gonna drag this one up. And then wrap it around. So again, just kind of molding it to the headband. Space this one. Might make this one go back this way, just like this. So as long as it's covering the headband, that's kind of my goal here. And you can bend the tips of the leaves. The leaves have wire all the way in them, so you can bend the very tip to kind of cover the headband. And you're just going to space them out how you see fit. You might change direction. Um, Make some go one direction, make some go the other. So I'm gonna make this one go up a little, like this. Make 
sure my wire is nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna keep messing around with it until I get the look that I'm going for. So sometimes you have to tighten the wire a little bit more. Make sure it really stays. Here we go. Starting to look pretty cool. So I have leaves kind of going every which way. Let me this one go this way. And as long as it's covering your headband, that's kind of the goal you're going for. Let this one go this way. This one go this way. Just like this. And I'm just going to take the wire and kind of bend this leaf down so it stays in this position. This one's kind of being stubborn. Tighten the wire on here. I still have a pretty good gap, but I still have so many leaves on this side and not a lot on this side. So I'm just going to keep spacing them out how I see fit. Might completely change direction on this one. Make one leaf go this way, one leaf go that way. So I have some going down and some going down on each side. So I'm just going to take this, pinch my fingers here, and kind of bend this leaf so it goes where I want it to go like that and then underneath you just want to tighten up that wire so that it stays put and then I'm going to drag the next leaf up and once again make it go in the direction I would like it to go in there we go and I find that if you wrap it around it kind of stays a little bit better there we go. And now I'm just going to do is just slide these ones up to cover up the wire that I have going on here. Just sliding these up a little, sliding them up a little. And now that you have your headband completely covered in leaves, you can go in and kind of mess with the direction that they're facing. You might make one go left, one go right, one go left one go right kind of like that left right left right left right um you can make them all go in the same direction it's totally up to you i kind of like it when they zigzag a little bit but it's up to you how you want and if you find that your leaves aren't tight enough just tighten up that wire you can always take them completely off again and then tighten them how you see fit wherever and however that works and that's pretty much it. You're just going to lay them out however you want them on your headband. Um, again, you can make them all go in one direction, make them all go in a different direction. It's totally up to you. So these ones are all kind of in one direction. This one's kind of a little every which way. So it depends on which look you're going for. You can have the laurel kind of go every which way here. You can keep it like this. Or if you want, which I find really cool, you can totally take it and put it like this and do some funky thing in the front of your hair. Either way, it looks really cool. It's totally up to you. Minus the fact that I don't have a mirror. So it's kind of crazy looking. But yeah, you can definitely do it like this if you want. Or like I said, oopsie. Um, you can do it this way. If your leaves are falling off, just go back and tighten the wire. So my bottom leaf fell off. So I'm just going to go back and make this really tight. Um, if you find your leaves are slipping really crazy and the wire is not holding them, you can always add a little bit of glue, but I haven't had that problem. So I'm not sure it's necessary, but either way, pretty cool. So just like that, your leaves are going kind of crazy, but that's kind of the look I was going for. So it is what it is. And then, like I said, you can make your leaves go every which way. And if your leaves fall off, just tighten up the wire. That's all. So that is it. Um, the Julius Caesar presentation, um, by the Hanover Theater Repertory is going on all month on the Common. 
So um, these kits will be on display while supplies last. Feel free to come in and grab your kit, make them, and then attend the Julius Caesar festivities on the common in style. Um, that's pretty much all I have for today. If you've been continuing with us this whole time, feel free to tune in next week and we'll continue our awesome birdhouse that we are creating out of craft sticks and we'll see how to make windows and doors with that awesome birdhouse. So until next week, I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed today's super simple, really fun, really creative laurels. And feel free to come in, grab a craft kit, grab a book that's related to Julius Caesar, and enjoy the show. Until next week, I'll see you all then.